everybody, this is Praxis. Last night I was able to tell the electrician that's working with us that we are 100% ready for him to come in and do all of his stuff. And his stuff is uh, picking up where we left off. There's all these wires hanging out of the electrical boxes. He's going to take these, strip them down, ground them out, uh, which where you take the, the uh, copper ground. I don't know, you connect it to the side of the box, something like that. He's going to do all of his stuff with these boxes. He's going to get the electrical box, the breaker box, all wired up. Uh, and, you know, he can start his, uh, his stuff. Uh, to make sure that I was accurate in that statement, this morning I came in and I just wanted to double check everything. And there were a couple little things here and there, like a few wires didn't get labeled, a few places where things didn't get uh, nailed down. But there was one large thing, and it is uh, this uh, box right here. Uh, that's a light that's going to be over a mirror, which is over the sink. And we never ran a wire to it. Uh, this uh, Two boxes put together called the duplex box. On one side is going to be a switch for the fan of, uh, in the bathroom, which is up over your head. And on the other side, closer the door is going to be the light switch which will activate that. We just never ran a wire. So uh, I'm, no, no big deal, I just got to run a wire from it out, up, through this hole, through here, here, up, pop over to there. Uh, the only thing that's a little challenging is that we already have a bunch of wires kind of in here and I want to piggyback this on top of the other wires so I don't just have like this highway of all these you know, wires running up there. Try to keep them kind of central. If you are going to piggyback them, you have to use these uh, red staples. The red staples are for uh, putting two wires on top of each other and the blue staples are for putting down just one wire. Uh, the most challenging part of the whole thing honestly is actually just getting the uh, the, sta the old staples out. I used to use this big wrench for kind of grabbing them and kind of pulling them out but uh, I was having a little trouble and my dad had mentioned the other day that there is another way of doing it which uh, he thought was pretty easy and I figured, well, yeah, why don't I try it? And as soon as I did it, I realized I got to share this with people. This is so much easier than what I've been doing. So, like I said, I used to take pliers and kind of grab at them and try to rip them out. And the, the way you're supposed to do it, I guess, is that you take a pair of shears or something like that. And the staples are a little bit fatter here than they are on the sides. So you kind of get the shears around. So they go underneath the fat part and you can pull it out and oh my goodness, it was easy. I'm going to demonstrate here. It's probably going to be like really difficult or something, but in theory, this is supposed to work and the one I did down here was super easy. So I'm putting the, uh, the shears up there, kind of pinching, squeezing and oh yeah, there we go. Super easy. Comes out and you know what's even uh, cooler about it is that the staple is in pretty good condition. When I just do it my way, they come out all crooked and I, you know me, I'd, I'd still use them. I'd like hammer them back into straight. But that is like a brand new staple. I don't even have to put that aside as being a weirdo one. So now I'm all set that I can put these wires in, finish that up and be true to my word that we actually are done. As soon as I finish up this, I'm back upstairs. I'm going to be doing more sanding work upstairs. I promise I'm going to get you guys up there to see what's going on up there. It is pretty interesting seeing the, the floor kind of uh, manifest itself, I got a mosquito in here, uh, manifest itself uh, out of the, uh, you know, the, the work surface that's up there. I'll get you up there hopefully tomorrow unless there's something more interesting going on. That's it. Thanks for watching.